a computer out of almost everything. A computer has a built-in memory, so it calls for some building material, according to that wacky genius, Roland Emmett, who has been commissioned to design one as a showpiece for a famous computer firm. He gets to the bones of the matter right away, having learnt the jargon that throws light on the subject. He has to ensure, of course, that things run smoothly. Naturally, when you're an artist working in a field of science, you don't want to drop a brick. So you clamp the brick firmly down. We are now in a world of frenetic fluctuations controlled by a random selector that Emmett calls his eeny, meeny, miny, mo unit, on which gambling is strictly prohibited. Notice that there are two air-cooled circuits mounted in the ears of the elephantine control head above the multi-core trunk. An important feature here is memory lane with its open doors, for computers must store all the messages that arrive. It's almost economic. Instead of a billion cycles, we have here just one billy cycle. But the complexities are endless. memory, tiny minds revolve round bigger ones and produce thoughts instantly. Fred, short for fantastically rapid evaluator and dispenser, has everything taped. That for the uninitiated is the card punch reader. You can't do without one. The cards are scrutinized by a single electronic roving eye, an application of the watch the dicky bird principle that underlies the whole forget-me-not contraption. Thanks for the memory.